Hi, Rob Cruz here again. Uh, last time we talked, we talked about the income tax changes Nebraska did uh, here just recently, but the, uh, they also amended and improved the Property Tax Credit Act, which was passed a few years ago. For those that are not familiar with that act, that's uh, it allowed a property tax credit on your state income tax return for a portion of your school, of the school budget's property tax assessment. Uh, last year, that was at that was at thirty percent, so it has grown a lot. A couple of things changes that uh, the uh, the state made is they did cap the amount of uh, to three percent the growth the amount of growth a school uh, uh, district can increase their property tax requests, and then they also eliminated the five percent cap on the growth of the credit. So that property for those that always have always wondered where that money comes from. The state itself has a budget. That budget is limited to the three percent growth. But if we collect more in tax revenues than what than what the budget uh, growth is, um, half of that ex excess is put into that property tax relief fund. That was the property tax credit act just from a few years ago. Um, what they've done and that credit uh, that actually cre uh, that actual fund has grown a lot faster than the, what the credit's being. Uh, brought down that's being sent down to us. So they kind of eliminated the caps to allow for that or more of that money to be flow, flow down to each of the taxpayers. The last thing that they did in that in that part of that act was the uh, limit uh, was to start providing state funding to uh, community colleges. Another tax item on your property tax statement is always for your community colleges. And every and the entire state is divided up into regions for the community college, and those community colleges assess for taxes for their uh, to you for their to help fund their budget and keep tuition low for the help keep tuitions lower for the students. Well, the state is now going to be providing some money for the community colleges, so uh, but um, so they can actually so their request to the actual taxpayer should go down. If you have any questions on this, or if you or would like to uh, have any questions for Cruz and Associates, please feel free to contact us at 402-564-5827 or check us out on the web uh, at cruz-associates.com. Thank you.